Good morning, guys. We are out here at Kettle Moraine's northern unit. Uh, it's about about an hour away from where I live here, way back in the boonies. Um, we're out here to do a 12-mile long run, and oh boy, is it cold. Um, we're looking at about negative 12 right now. Roads are just full of black ice. You got to be very careful out here. A lot of elevation gain here. That's why I traveled this far to get these runs in. Um, but yeah, beautiful area, but yeah, I gotta be careful on these roads. I'll take a right here and head right into group camp. See if we have any other adventurers here today that wanna get out on the trail early. Yeah, I don't see a soul in sight. So we like that. Yeah, group camp is obviously closed for the season. Um, they do have some winter camping here, but uh, up north near, uh, or actually southern more, uh, towards uh, Moth Lake. So um, definitely want to get uh, get into some uh, winter camping one day. But Yep, but here we are all bundled up, ready to go. Hopefully my water doesn't freeze before I start uh, sucking it down. Uh, we are using some of, the, some of the new gels here. We're gonna use the Power Bar Hydros. Shout out to Sam Long, who's a triat or who's actually a triathlon athlete. Um, got me hooked. Well, didn't get me hooked on them, but got me to try them. Uh, this will be my first uh, uh, day, kind of giving them a try. So hopefully they don't freeze either, because it's pretty much liquid. Trail conditions this morning pretty rough, actually. Um, they got us some snow. I mean, we got some snow a couple days ago, so that many people been out here, and with yesterday's higher temp. You know, it really got kind of sloshy, so at least in uh, where I live, but here, yeah, it looks like not many people have been here, but we're about to hit up the Ice Age Trail and we'll start heading down. So about another hour or so until the sun comes up. And today's training calls for, uh, it calls for a similar route than what my 100 mile is gonna be on. Um, so a lot of technical trails. Um, these trails are very technical, um, but there's snow cover right now, so you don't really see a lot of the rocks and roots. Um, but yeah, this area, um, especially during the summer, springtime, very technical trails, a lot of rocks. Um, really need to watch your foot placement and just be cautious on where you're stepping. And I know that Shawnee Hills 100 is going to be on some technical trails so just preparing you know but you can't really see it um, but we're just getting a little bit of the crest of the sun um, right now and it's looking real beautiful right now but yeah pretty cold today um, but honestly it's really not as bad as I expected it to be uh, I did expect it to be a little colder than this but I'm heating up pretty good. And uh, when I get back, I'll show you how many layers I'm wearing. <laughs> Looks like Christmas all over again. Just see that sun about the crest. And uh, it's gonna be a nice day. So, big hill coming down here. Pretty icy too. Looks like they've been doing some forest management back here. It smells like some fresh pine everywhere. Uh, doing some clear cutting and, you know, working on some fire roads, it's looking like. Um, but uh, pretty early in the season to be doing that. But I'm guessing they're doing that because it gets pretty muddy back here. But yeah, here's a fire cut straight through. That is definitely new. Um, almost kind of lost the trail there for a second because um, well, I'm not used to these these big clear cuts and forest management through here but yeah a lot of fresh pine everywhere and yeah this is very recent oh yeah continuing on 
yeah the deeper i get into the woods the more the trail's never been walked on this is completely clear looks like somebody hasn't walked over here or ran in over a week so fresh fresh powder gotta love it but yeah almost time to take the headlamp off and uh sun's coming up over here and uh it's gonna be a great morning but yeah gloves off ready got the big boys again today the big carhartt gloves but the thing is with these gloves is your hands start to sweat and you really don't want to get your gloves wet um just in case you know you were to like break an ankle out here or you know an emergency would happen i want to be warm but like i said i always keep uh, some emergency stuff in my back uh in my in my vest so you see a lot of coyote tracks over here a lot of digging um I have some hungry boys out here. <laughs> yeah, but if you come out here late at night, you can hear them howl. Very cool. Pro tip, these taste amazing. Like, <laughs> like I could snack on these all day. Yeah, but these honey stinger fruit smoothie uh, gummies are so good. Yeah, that's about our only uh, friend on the trail lately. That was probably earlier this morning. Um, right. Yeah, sun's still not all the way up, but it is crest the wood line. So you get that kind of orange glow. And uh, man, it's, it's, it's beautiful to see that no matter what season it is. So get it. Oh, well, we're about five miles in too, so about a mile until the turnaround. Um, but I'm heading towards Arnell Tower. I'm not sure if it'll be open, um, but I kind of want to climb up there and get a good shot for you guys. Um, hopefully it's open. Yeah, that's actually a fox track, and you can tell by that little triangle down at their bottom pad there. Um, and then the nail protrusions, that's definitely a fox. More narrow than a coyote would be. Um, but yeah, he's out here stalking back and forth. Really cool to see, you know, it's, it's, unless you're like a hunter or something, you're in a tree stand, it's very rare to see a fox out here in Wisconsin. Um, very elusive, probably here you before uh, you were are you ever going to see it, so. Yeah, we're almost right here by Parno Tower. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there it is off in the distance. Hopefully it's not closed, we'll climb up there and get a good shot of the sun coming up. Up here on Parnell Tower now. Great view, man. Just goes to show you how flat Wisconsin is. Just awesome view up here. You know, I climb up here often, get kind of like vertigo. <laughs> you look down, you're like, whoa, it's a long way down. But, um, whew. Really can uh, feel the wind up here too a little bit, but I'd say it's pretty calm all around. So. Yeah, what a view. Sun coming up and beautiful. Makes it all worth it in the cold coming out here. So we'll head back down, get back on the trail. I've got about another mile yet till the turnaround, so. But these long runs, not worried about pace, just getting some time on feet and, uh, and working on some elevation gain and just doing some work, you know. Yeah, pretty deep snow back here. Makes it kind of a pain to run in. As you see, I mean, I sink in about six inches, so every time I, I fall in. All right, first impression of the power bar. Power Gel Hydros. Wow, these taste good. Tastes like a, a more salty, like orange juice, especially with the orange flavor. I do have the mojito, which has caffeine, but I'm laying off those for a while. Um, but yeah, wow, 
these are really good especially because it's liquid i've never had a liquid gel before so uh i'm, I'm a fan i'm a fan when it's this cold your water bottle just freezes like that so you gotta take the lid off but it's still icy ice Yee. I love trail running through these areas. You're in like a winter wonderland. You've got all these like evergreen trees, pine trees. I'm not sure what type of trees these are. Um, hemlocks, whatever. Um, but yeah, you got them all on the side covered in snow from a fresh snowfall. Feels like, like Christmas morning. <laughs> yeah. And it's real dense back here. Back when it was dark and I was talking about the, you know, forest management, deforestation going on back here. I don't know if they're working on some fire roads or... Yeah, wow. They've cleared out a lot back here. And it's actually healthy for the forest to do that, too, so... But it just smells awesome. It smells like a Christmas tree. <laughs> That's my favorite word today, Christmas, I guess. Oh, yeah, my layers. So... We got the vest, obviously, and then we have the North Face, uh, rainproof or waterproof, rainproof, whatever you want to call it, uh, vest. And then look at how iced over I am. We got the sweatshirt on, and then we got two other layers on the blue, and then the the nice compression black. So. But yeah, I'm all icy.